The care and maintenance of a violin is very basic and very easy. The first and most important aspect of caring for it is not to let it get exposed to extreme heat or extreme cold, leaving it in a parked car either in the winter time or the heat of the summer so that it doesn't overheat or get over cold is probably the biggest thing you can do to take care of it. After that, just general care. It's a very fragile instrument and it will break if used as a toy, but at the same time it's very durable. Most of them have been around for a hundred or, or even more years. To take care of it, it should be stored in a case when it is not being played. Putting a violin away for an extended period of time, anything more than 10 or 15 minutes, is very simple. Just make sure you loosen your bow so that the hair on it's loose. You use the bow screw. You stick it in. Usually there is a cover, or frequently there's a cover to protect the tip, and you're going to latch it in at the frog. The tip is usually a secure permanent holder, and the latch is at the frog. You're going to want to make sure that you take your shoulder rest off, lay it down flat, secure the neck strap, and if you have a blanket to cover it with, cover it with the blanket. That secures and protects the violin from getting the horsehair on it and the horsehair from getting caught on pieces of the violin. As soon as you close the cover, you want to make sure that it latches tightly and then you want to zipper it if you have zippers or additional latches. There is nothing worse than picking a case up by the handle to have the whole thing fall open and fall out and causing damage to the instrument. If you're opening up a closed case, it's very simple. If you do it methodically or get into a rhythm of doing it, you'll get used to taking your bow out, tightening up the bow so that the horse hair, using the screw, is tight. So it's about a pinky width away from the stick of the bow. And then you'll put your shoulder rest on the back. There are several different kinds of shoulder rests that you would use, leaving your bow in your case. When you're done practicing, you'll use a soft cloth, a um, piece of flannel, an old washcloth, anything small to wipe the rosin off the back of the stick of the violin and off the strings and off the body, wipe anything off. When you go to play it, the big thing for the bow is not to put your fingers on the horsehair. Just use the frog or the stick. <clears throat> and remember that it's not supposed to be a weapon, so you don't use the bow to hit brothers and sisters or stand partners with. Parts of the violin or things on the violin can break and will break. Strings break through just usage. It doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. They just break. Um, the horsehair will occasionally need to be replaced. Most repairs need to be done by an experienced musician or an instrument repair shop. Um, if the strings break until your teacher has showed you how to put them on, you need to have your teacher put them on for you. The horsehair will occasionally need to be replaced. That needs to be done by a repair shop. Should your tailpiece or the pegs break, again, you need to refer to your teacher to see if it's something they can fix before they send it off to a repair shop. Um, more damage is done by home repairs than by act the actual damaged part in the first place.